Greetings, Legion of Dominicus Arcturius, angels of the new earth ascending, and the priestesses of the moon, and the Magdalenes of all the roses. The ascension is at hand. This is it. I know, divine one, you feel it. Keep rising, rising, rising through the frequencies and energies of the holiest temple, the highest light. The rainbow bridge is fully activated and opens through your soul source in the center of your consciousness, of your awareness, your presence, your beingness. We are united and we are strong. Love is the frequency of the new earth. So keep shining your light brightly into the night. Angels of the New Eden, thank you all for joining me on this great mission of awakening for all of humanity. I'd like to take a moment and thank everyone for supporting myself and our mission and your pledges on Patreon. For those that are on our Patreon page, what I'm doing now is posting on my community tabs on my channels on YouTube, on Prime Disclosure and Paul Butler, when I upload a training video or a gift of either a ceremony, an event, stuff like that, I put the link, put the link and the image on the community tab so it's easier to find. I know a lot of people are having trouble finding the meditations and trainings because there's so much content I have on Patreon that you have to scroll down to find the videos and they're kind of mixed in so what I'm going to do from now into the future is post a link right to the teachings and practices and training so if you go to my channel either one Paul Butler or Prime Disclosure and you go to the home page and click on community there will be a list to make it easier for you all to find these special videos and meditations and going into the future it'll help everyone to See when I put up a new video specifically for our patrons. So thank you all for supporting myself, our team, and our mission. If you'd like to support us, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. We had another powerful day of activations for the last couple hours here in the portal in Washington. There is a very thick, deep fog and mist. It looked like the mists of Avalon. Those that experienced the activation of the Merlin energy and the transmissions a couple days ago. This made me think of the dragon's breath or the dragon energy of the mist, the smoke, the fog. As it comes down over consciousness as the veil, and this is symbolic as the mist clear, the, the fog clears, it's the lifting of the veils, it's the revealing of that which is hidden. This is the revelation, the apocalypse, the unveiling. So we're seeing these synchronicities and symbols in many different ways and in our daily lives. So it's our higher dimensional self connected directly to source that is showing us these symbols and synchronicities and manifestations of our visions and thoughts and our dreams coming to light, coming to life. And as co-creators, in unity with Source, we are tapping into these powers of manifestation, and many of us are experiencing instant manifestations and moment by moment synchronicities and connections of the highest order. So that's why I appreciate everyone sharing in the comments, and we are enjoying that people are coming together and communicating through the comments and through these channels. So we appreciate you all for sharing in this great journey together as we ascend the most sacred mountain of the immortals of the ascended masters that we are here now manifesting through the sacred temple we call our avatars today on the 21st another 222 portal we had a 34 hertz manifestation on the schumann charts who is a trinity of three white light blasts that came through before and after light codes were coming in, these higher dimensional frequencies of 5D. And we saw this as a three and a four, creating the seven 
which is symbolic of the rainbow bridge, or the seven colors of the electromagnetic spectrum. We had 159 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours, the most powerful in our sacred portal in South America, in the Andes Mountains where the sacred condor flies high, Chile with a 6.1 where we receive multiple activations today, and this is the Kundalini of Pachamama of Mother Earth. This occurred about an hour before this recording at 54 UTC, which was actually 22.22, the 22nd. The time is ahead in the universal time. It would be around 4.54 Pacific time, where I'm located right now. And that was at 34.619 latitude, 73.071 longitude. So I have the 73 and the 71. 37 into 73 and another 7 code, making it the 777 portal. And then we also had a 4-4 in Chile, just north of the 6.1 in Afghanistan today. A 4.3 with another 7 manifestation where the Trinity, the sacred mountains, come together. They join in this massive portal where Tian Shan, Kunlun, and Himalayan come together, the land of the celestials, or the land of the immortals. We also had in India 4.5 with the nine energy, the crown of Lemuria, Aleutian Islands, a 3.5 with the eight, Puerto Rico with the Atlantean energy, 3.2, another 3.3 in Puerto Rico, and a 3.0 also in Puerto Rico. So the trinity of the Atlantean energy, the divine masculine. And right in the heart of Lemuria today, we had a 3.2 in Pahala, Hawaii. So the heart center fully activated, 444 coming in. In the Philippines on the ring of fire, 44. And then in India, 4.3. China today in the area of Tibet, 4.5 with the nine energy. Then Nevada, 3.8. With the 11 energy, 11, 11 codes coming in. The portals are fully open, fully awake, fully aware, connected to the portals and our sacred vessels that are fully open now, calling us home to the sacred home. We start today's first transmission from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalie Glasson, Solar Rays of the Beginning by Helios and Vesta. Greetings. We are Helios and Vesta. We are one soul and yet we express ourselves as a masculine energy and a feminine energy. We are the overseers of the solar level of the Creator's universe. We work very closely with the earth and the planetary level. It is our purpose to bring forth the wholeness and completedness of the Creator to support the emerging blending and unification of the divine masculine and the divine feminine to create a balance, to create a grounding of the Creator's light. Many souls come to us to understand the unification process, especially understanding unification with the Creator. They are therefore more easily able to move forth in their ascension process, understanding their purpose, their embodiment of the Creator, and how to express the Creator's vibrations and wisdom through their being. We are present to be of service to you. We bring our light to you and invite you to absorb our light. The solar level is of a copper golden color. Imagine, sense, or acknowledge you are breathing in the copper gold color of the Creator's light. You may imagine us like a sun beaming down upon you, warming, comforting, and supportive. We wish to share with you that the solar rays of light are anchoring into the earth and in your being now. Some of these are flowing through the sun. Others are simply flowing into your being through the energy planes. The energy we are expressing from the solar level as solar rays is known as the beginning energy or the birth energy. The energy we are sharing now is transmitted during the birth of Mother Earth and the beginning of the Earth's ascension process. These energies are immensely ancient, pure, sacred, activating, and awakening for you and for all upon the Earth. Mother Earth as well. For Mother Earth it will bring back remembrance, and maybe for you as well, bringing forth new energies, new understandings, wisdom, and knowledge. 
The beginning energy from the solar rays and the solar level has been programmed to support new beginnings. The energy being delivered supports new beginnings within your ascension, your physical reality, your perspectives and your emotions within all aspects of your being. This is appropriate as it is also the purpose of the New Earth Ascension Blueprint to create a new canvas, a clean canvas where expansive possibilities and opportunities are available to experience. The solar rays not only promote the activation of a beginning, they support a new beginning in your reality or being, whatever is appropriate to aid and advance your ascension process. The solar rays of the beginning also bringing forth remembrance and the returning of skills, abilities, and understanding connected to the beginning of the earth and the beginning of the earth's ascension. It is like a merging, a synthesis of two beginnings. Thus there are ancient sacred energies being brought forth into new transitions, new awakenings, new activations, and transformations within your being and your reality, absorbing the solar rays of beginning. We do not know the new beginnings that will be created because the new beginnings will be personal to each soul. We do invite you to absorb the solar rays of beginning that are flowing from the solar level and from us, Helios and Vesta, the solar logos, to your being. During meditation, you can ask to receive the solar rays of beginning. Imagine a sun either beaming down upon you, a copper golden sun flowing over and through you, you may even imagine you exist within the center of this copper golden sun, breathing in its light, receiving its activations. The new beginning brings hope, excitement, a feeling of freedom or liberation, a feeling that anything and everything is possible. Recognize these energies within your being as they build, as you breathe in, receive, and absorb the solar rays. Send the solar rays into Mother Earth and invite all upon the earth to receive the solar rays of beginning. As you work with these solar rays, be open to insights, ideas, or where a new beginning may take place, like a birth of new energies through your being, new creations, new circumstances, and new understandings. Contemplate the solar rays, allowing the inspiration to come to you. You may wish to call upon us, Helios and Vesta, to be present with you, to work with you, bringing illumination and enlightenment into your awareness. You may not gain any understanding. Please know that the activation and the new beginning will have taken place. The insights and understandings may dawn as you experience new beginnings in your reality or within your being. Please use this affirmation if you wish to. I open myself fully to receive new beginnings. We are present to serve you. We thank you. Helios and Vesta, Solar Logos, from omna.org, omna.org. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Lisa Marie Wright. It is done. Nothing can stop what is coming. Let it all come up and out. Let it all crumble, play out. See it all as density being eternally released from the hearts of humanity and the planet. See it for what it could be. Be at peace with it all. Through the chaos, which will only get louder until the old fully dies, natural order is being fully restored. Upcoming weeks will be challenging and painful for many as much clarity and purification, huge shifts and much expansion unfolds. The greatest gift that you can give yourself and all of humanity is to focus on your own healing. Validate within if limiting external distractions and focusing within is your highest good at this time. Expecting miracles always, focusing on the highest outcome for all, and listening to the heartbeat of the new will allow all to flow with greater e grace and ease. We have been reborn. We begin anew on a solid foundation of pure, unconditional love and service to the highest good of all. One, together we shine. Keep flowing and glowing through it all. We are golden. And from Divine Bro Star of the Light, David Alexander Lightfoot. Energy Update. Global Ascension has begun. Love has won. We have been working towards the big shift and ascension for our planet and humanity for many years now. And the countdown has begun. It is happening. It has started as some have been feeling this week already. Some feel lighter, see things from a different perspective. Some do not understand what is happening to them and need to let go of fear. Others find more freedom being grounded in 5D already. 
We are not alone in this. We have so much support like the Galactic Federation of Light, the Angelic Realm, and our own divine support teams, Source God. The entire universe has our backs. Everything will be supporting us to break free on so many levels, to open up more and commit to the greatest desires in our most authentic voice. More healing positive energies bring change and cleansing. In the last few weeks, and especially the last few days, many were triggered emotionally on deep hidden issues we still were attached to in the past. It was needed to give us insight to break out of the illusion of the matrix, to break free for a more divine guided life in 5D, deep inner shifting releasing old shadows, fears, attachments, emotions, letting go of outdated connections, seeing more truth about ourselves and the world around us. It is important to understand you really need to be in your power now, and do not let the chaos and negativity in the world distract you. We need all awakened people to shine as bright as we can. Claim your place. Be a lighthouse. It is time. Rise up in your power. You are ready. Heart blessings. David Alexander Lightfoot. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Era Campbell. Eclipse season is a lot like falling down the rabbit hole and tumbling into wonderland. Everything becomes topsy-turvy, nothing makes much sense and you don't know up from down. You're confused, you don't know the path ahead, and you're pretty sure a caterpillar just gave you some advice. It's like a mad tea party is happening and everything is rising all at once. Eclipses turn everything upside down for a reason. They help us to see things in a different light and in a new way. They can offer new solutions to problems that seem like they have been going on forever. They can also clear away some of the stuck places and get things moving where they are frozen. They can show us feelings and shadows that are needed to be seen. They can also manifest powerful changes in our world. Since they themselves occur so rapidly over a short period of time, they have the power to move energy very quickly and usher great change in the blink of an eye. They are so powerful they influence our world whether we can see them or not. Eclipses bring us the opportunity to clear away the cobwebs and threads of what no longer serve us. They gift us a time of illumination and clarity, where we are able to see the truth of situations clearly, and they offer us hope for what is flowing in from the unseen. The eclipse season begins a few weeks prior to the eclipse itself, at the previous new or full moon. This opens up the gateway of energy that ushers in this powerful time of transformation. Things wind down in the weeks following the eclipse season, though the energy still flows through our lives. The influence lasts for months after the initial eclipses themselves, and each eclipse thread has its own energy, so each one brings different energy to our lives. From the Goddess Circle.net, from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Pars Kute, there are many different codes coming in right now. Those of light codes, music, sound codes, channeling codes that come entrenched within those channeled messages. DNA experience or expansion. Activation is largely within those codes. And we are receiving these many times without even knowing that we are. Sometimes we are consciously aware of this, such as during our meditations or during various experiences that we may have as the ringing sounds in our ears, but we are experiencing these codes, these downloads. Many of us have been using that terminology for some time. Downloads of DNA upgrade codes, and they have been coming in and are continuing to come in to ones that are aware of it and ones that are not aware of it. And it is all about increasing the collective consciousness of all of mankind, not only those of us, the lightworker community, but all of mankind. Now, of course, not all will experience this or even ready to want to experience this. They are still asleep, and they are the ones that have chosen, you might say, to not be a part of the ascension process directly, not all this time anyway. This is what the codes are about, largely here, and there is some information we cannot get at this time about this, because it is a continuing process within this ascension process. So we will receive more and more of this, just as those that have come to be able to work within the light language, even not knowing what the language is or what it is expressing, have come into the forefront more and more, here and now. It is the same within the music, sound that comes in, not our music that tends to be of lower vibration. We do not speak of that music, but we speak of higher vibrational music, sound. 
When we hear this music, we feel a heightened expression of consciousness, or we feel a sense of peace or tranquility come over us, or we just simply feel good by hearing this music. It resonates within us, and that is what this is all about. Stay open to receive as we are at the beginning of starting an entire new reality on this planet. With sacred love of one, Pars Kute, and from sparks of divine light healing, we are shifting into Sagittarius season. We are finishing up Scorpio season, and we are preparing to shift into Sagittarius season the 22nd. We are really feeling the shift of the energy right now. We are moving from water to fire. All of the emotional energy that came with the past month is beginning to clear. You should be starting to feel like you have more energy. Tomorrow will bring with it a massive wave of ascension energies. It's also a big day for activations. We also can expect lots of incoming solar winds to reach us over the weekend. This energy should give you a boost in motivation. Sagittarius season will be bringing some massive upgrades with it. Sagittarius and Gemini might be feeling these energies a little extra. Expect a turbulent month as we are about to move through some quick energetic adjustments. We will have Mars and the energies of eclipse season shaking things up. We are 10 days away from the first eclipse, which will be a lunar eclipse in Gemini. The first eclipse will open a powerful gateway that will send us through the 1212 portal. The 1212 portal is right in the middle of this pair of eclipses. This year's 1212 will be all about the light body, and we can expect to go through some major light body activations. We have some huge alignments to occur in December. During mid-December, as the sun aligns with the galactic center, we can expect some major energy to open up. The winter solstice this year will bring some major energy with it. It also aligns with the Great Conjunction. Sagittarius season this year is taking us into the age of Aquarius. We still have Neptune, Uranus, and Chiron in retrograde. Neptune is preparing to shift direct next week. This means you should be having clearer dreams, whether awake or asleep. Chiron has been retrograde for the past few months and has been assisting us with clearing out past wounds. We will continue to feel its energies over the next month. Expect Sagittarius season to further activate you. It should be bringing lots of downloads and will be amazing for manifesting. It's a good time to be getting into a meditation routine. It's also a good time to focus on your inner work. It's important that we are staying very positive during this time as we are manifesting rapidly. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com, and today from Divine Sister of Light Sarah Hayes, Astro Mama. On November 21st, the sun which rules our ego, masculinity, and life force leaves the watery sign of Scorpio and enters the fiery sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the ninth zodiac sign, deals with wisdom, expansion, faith, truth, and luck. The sun's entry into Sagittarius is here to propel a new light of faith and authenticity into our lives. After a gruesome Scorpio season, we are ready to take our pain and trauma and transform them into faith and a fighting spirit of conviction. No other sign could emit such cherry and optimistic energy as a centaur. No other sign is as brutally honest and forthright as a Sagittarius. After the many lessons and hardships of Scorpio season, our souls are ready to find something, anything, to feel renewed and replenished. Change is in the air and something huge is on the horizon. These upcoming changes are upon us as we have now entered the faded and destined time of eclipse season. This last eclipse cycle of 2020 promises to be grand and life-changing. Eclipses bring changes and curveballs. Expect things to change and in big and momentous ways. Just when you thought you had seen it all, of 2020 surprises and shocks, think again. A momentum is rising up and a bud of exploration and unprecedented growth is here to find us once more. Wherever Gemini plus Sagittarius falls in your chart is where there will be unexpected surprises and occurrences. Just when you thought, to hell with this year as a spark of magic plus light comes to you. Those of us born with predominant Sagittarius in the natal chart, are warriors of light and authenticity, although Sagittarius is known to be quite truthful and painfully blunt at times. Their truest intention is to impart wisdom and empowerment. The glass half full syndrome comes from a previous lifetime of many struggles and painful experiences, 
This is why they are able to hold the light within and seek to explore the more positive traits of the human experience. Often quite the joker, these people never lose their sense of humor, even within darker times. Their gift is the ability to never lose faith and to always look for the lesson of growth within every situation. This is often communicated as some form of teaching for those they encounter, or preaching depending on who you ask. Out of all the zodiac signs, they never stop exploring and venturing to new heights. Their wanderlust soul always craves some type of adventure, and they remind us to never lose our own sense of freedom and thrill-seeking ways. The sun in Sagittarius is here to transform your pain into a light of warrior strength and power. Just when you thought, screw this year, not again, the sun's entry into the most positive sign of the zodiac wants to remind you of your divinity and light. After the rainstorm comes the sun, after the breakdown comes the breakthrough, and after the most painful battle comes the greatest victory. The sun's entry into Sagittarius reminds you that it is your ability to honor and make room for your light within such dark times that makes you brave and victorious. This takes guts. This takes bravery. This is for the truest and most noble souls. The sun in Sagittarius is here to cleanse your darkness and offer a light of hope and faith, transform your sadness into warrior-like strength, and remind you to stand in gratitude and the ability to begin once more. From astromama.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah, Whitehorse, Lua, Astrology. Venus enters Scorpio, Sun enters Sagittarius. With Venus entering Scorpio, we're reminded that we have the power to attract what we want in our lives. But we also need to learn to let go when the time is right. Everything changes and this is what makes life beautiful. Sheer from the depths of your being to deepen intimacy. Real love is transformative, life-changing, and empowering. Self-love is just as precious. And trust is the key. The sun in Sagittarius gives us space to question those beliefs that keep us small, hold us back, or limit us. Consider what gives your life meaning, what thrills your heart. Cast off the shackles and set yourself free to explore the possibilities. Give yourself room to grow. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from Divine Bro Star of the Light Richard Stevens Sagittarius Season Ironically, as I write this, Venus is just moving into Scorpio, making it three planets in that part of the zodiac. Yet in around eight hours from now, the sun will move from Scorpio into Sagittarius. There's little point in just focusing on Sag energy right now. We're affected by the big picture and there's lots going on, as you know. And part of that process includes the moon being exactly square to the sun early tomorrow, meaning we'll be building to a coming full moon eclipse. It's also worth noting that Jupiter is now over one degree from Pluto and will continue to pull away, which lowers general intensity. They're still very close, yet it was stronger and is now receding, so the momentum is favorable or easier. Now with the Sun entering Sagittarius, we'll also be experiencing less intensity, yet Venus is just moving into Scorpio, and Mercury remains there, so still very powerful and quite emotional in that sense. The sun, of course, is the biggest influence of all. As such, it's more than notable that the sun is about to move into Sagittarius. It's a lightening of the load in some ways, less emotional and more mindful. The energy can be high-strung, though, and temperamental. Even more so, really, in this very mystical and mysterious part of the zodiac, where Scorpio meets Sagittarius. Overall, we're in such times of change, and we feel that as well with so many planets still in shadow periods where they're moving slower than usual. Something that happens before and after retrograde period. In the big picture though, most of these retrogrades have finished now or are about to, and more of the planets are now going at typical pace and direct motion. This is all good news energetically. Welcome shifts after such an intense and frankly difficult period, at least at times. In just over one week from now, the sun will be established in Sagittarius, Mercury will be on the cusp of that sign. Jupiter will be further still from Pluto. And we'll have a partially eclipsed full moon in Gemini, which will mean many things to many people, more than we can think of right now. As someone once said, the times are changing. And they really are. A solstice and Jupiter-Saturn exact conjunction one month today, heralding potential massive shifts.
Oh, and there's still a total solar eclipse before then? And the small matter of Saturn and then Jupiter entering Aquarius. Roll on the new age. From rpastrology.com. Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 237, Red Electric Earth. Electric is the name for the number three and its key words are activate, service, and bonding. The third day of a wave spell activates the energy and really gives things a boost. These days are great for getting things done but are seldom relaxing. Use this electric energy to your advantage or beware of getting a shock. Today is Red Earth which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. We are all evolving all the time, although it can be indiscernible as it happens slowly, unconsciously, and subtly. As we grow older, it is easier to look back and see how we have grown up, softened, and matured. But while we go through the process, it's so hard to see it. You are a work in progress, and today also has great potential for synchronicity. Be in the right place at the right time, and you will get what you need to evolve. Red Earth is like a signpost pointing the way to go. Great if you have been feeling a little lost lately. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Red Electric Earth, Kin 237, 21 November 2020, Navigating a Path of Service, 2111 2020, equal 2111 22, equal 324, equal 9, 21 The Crown of the Magi, Victory, Honors, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 11. Gate, Portal, Polarity. 22. Master, Builder, Architect of Peace. 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. Kin 237 equals 12 equals 3. Holy Trinity. Continuing to build our heavenly new foundation of peace. A highly charged day to rocket fuel your divine service. Day 3 in the Blue Eagle Wave Spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture the divine play for humanity, so that we can create it, envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our 2020 visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for a mass awakening of humanity. Today we are navigating our way through the signs in order to birth our true soul's higher path of service to Gaia and humanity. The tone of creation, today's tone is electric. This is another incredible divine gift from our Creator, as we have an incredible surge of power to kickstart and drive our divine missions. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Thus, there is a very strong emotional charge today, which may create outbursts in those who need to find their balance. Electric energy creates a short fuse, particularly in those souls that are confused or not focused on their divine missions. Through focus, these strong energies can be creatively utilized rather than being destructive or chaotic. This energy can be better harvested through the higher aspect of this tone, which encompass being of service to others through the action of bonding, that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are birthing today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature. Expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of divine service to humanity. Electric energy has a very high emotional charge, so make sure you ground this energy. Otherwise, it can build up stressing your nervous system and result in emotional flare-ups and arguments. Today, you should contemplate how you can activate your electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and awaken others through your acts of divine service. What signs are you noticing and acknowledging today as the amazing synchronicities unfold on your path? Follow the signs. Today's question is what are the signs guiding me to birth my divine mission in order to fulfill my highest vision for my soul's evolution on this planet? Divine blessings on your magical nature walk today. 
follow the signs. In Lakek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 237, Red, Electric Earth. The mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to evolve, bonding synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation, with the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of birth. So on this powerful day of activations and awakenings, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. We appreciate everyone that likes, comments, and shares these videos. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to thank everyone for your support and pledges on Patreon because of your pledges that I'm able to bring these transmissions for free to the world every day. And many good things are going to come out of this, and I have a lot of things in the works that I want to bring to all of you through my Patreon pages and keep these transmissions flowing daily. I'd like to thank and welcome Divine Bro Star of the Light Marcus Kolb for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd like to also thank and welcome Divine Sister of the Light Catherine Hand of Close Encounters Conference, our Divine Sister anchoring in the codes in the land down under in the land of Oz in Australia, our Sister connecting us to the sacred portal in Uluru. I'd like to welcome and thank Angels of the Light Lois for your pledge and support. I'd also like to thank Angel of the Light, Boroslav Kosi, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And I'd also like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Bethany Laura, for your support and pledge on Patreon. And I truly appreciate all of you for your continued support. If you'd like to support my work and mission, you can make a pledge at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And I shared today... Under the community tab on YouTube, you can go to my channel and click community. It is a video I record in a powerful portal in Boyton Vortex in Sedona with one of our divine bro stars of the light that climbed up on top of this mesa in the vortex and played the Native American flute. So there's powerful codes coming through the sun, the frequencies and the energies and other light workers that we're sharing in this sacred moment so it's a very powerful activation i'd like to thank at this time divine sister of the light sonia gerard her donation came in at exactly 1 44 a.m last night or this morning i should say in the middle of the night 144 code coming in and i'd like to thank divine sister of the light deborah pepines for your extra donation today Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that are keeping me fed out here in the wild, wild west. So we'll take a moment here to talk about some of these energies coming in. I know many people are feeling the intense frequencies. Many people have had enough with this story, this realm. I know most of us are ready for the event, for this great shift. And we're seeing this coming through in many ways. No one knows the exact date or time. Many of us are seeing this powerful energy culminating and building, accelerating into this 1221 solstice portal. But I ask everyone to remove any expectations and just practice appreciation, gratitude, thankfulness for what we do have in our life. And, and vision, you can vision what you'd like to see for the new earth. It is the guiding energy, it is our visualizations, it's our intent, it's our focus that manifests and attracts to us. It's like a magnet that attracts to us that which is our true heart's desire. And it takes great effort, it does take time, it takes energy, and it takes positive thoughts, positive action, positive emotions, positive feeling, all these things that generate 
the the chi, the energy, the life force to be able to attract to us and manifest what is in our hearts. And the thing is, just never give up. That is the key to mastering any art, is practice, consistency, passion for your art, whatever it is. And ultimately, in these challenging times, just hang in there, angels. Because you didn't come here because it was going to be easy. We came here because it was worth it. And you are worth it, angels. You are worthy of happiness, joy, peace, abundance, prosperity, all these things. And I tell you now, angelic legion of the 144, I did not lower my soul star spark into this vessel, into this realm to fail or to give up. I came here on this great mission for assisting our team and all of humanity through this great awakening, great ascension. So we keep rising up, lifting our spirit, lifting our energy, rising through the frequencies, the energies, the manifestations. We keep going through and through and through. We navigate these unknown energies the, through these unprecedented times. Through our free will, we are allowed and allow ourselves the space, the time, and the energy to live our heart's desire, live from our heart. We inspire others by being inspired, and we transmit joy by being joyful. We manifest love by being loved and loving, living from our heart, being connected to all things. So I end today's transmission with a very powerful mantra from our Tibetan bro stars and sisters of the light. So let go into the feeling, let go into the resonance. This is connected to the dragon energies and to the sacred breath of life. Kun zung la me ja lung. 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 Keep walking your sacred path with heart. Beloved beings of light, I love you all. Namaste.